Hello everyone, you are welcome to the fourth episode of the Quick Civil Series for Beginner. In the last episode, I showed you a method of modeling your structure in Quick Civil Series. So, um, I have shown you two different methods and in this episode, I will be showing you another method, making it all to be three methods altogether. With this method, what we will be doing is we will have to import our drawing from AutoCAD to Quick Civil Series. All right. So let's go to AutoCAD and see how we can achieve that. So my AutoCAD is open here. I have um, a drawing here. It is named um, Ibadan Duplex. So um, it is a story building, just one story. So I have the ground floor and I have the first floor. And then you know, this is just the roof plan, all right? So this is how the uh, building looks like. Let me just on all of the layers so that you can see um, the layers. So I have one of the layers. I have to off the layer before I can you know, have the general arrangement. So um, this is my ground floor. You can see I have changed the layer to blue and then my, um, my first is in red color. And here I have superimposed them. So at the end of the day, this is what I have, okay? So this is the general arrangement I was able to produce. So from what you can see here, you will see that I have this circle, okay? This circle simply represents the column, okay? In Quick Civil Series, your circle, a circle simply represents a column. The circle does not depict that the column is a circular column. All right, it might be a rectangular column, it might be a circular column. When you get to quick civil series, you will determine that you will also determine the section it should be. But a circle is what denotes a column. All right, so you have to have it in circle, not a rectangle. Okay, and then for the panels, make sure this is a um, rectangle. So if you look at this, you see when I select this, you see that all of this is a rectangle. Let me try to um, move it. Okay. So let me just uh, move it like this. Okay. You can see that what I have here is a rectangle. Okay. So when you have, let me control Z so that I can go to the original position. So it's back in this original position. If you have it in rectangle, that way, quick civil series, we recognize it as a panel. Okay. If it is just a single line, if it is not a rectangle, if it is just a single line, it will recognize it as a beam. Okay. So because this is a panel, you have to make it to have, um, <clears throat> you know, um, a rectangle or a polyline. You know, it just has to be continuous. All right. So after having this, all you just need to do is you know, copy this and then you, um, you know, you just go to clipboard and then you can copy with base points or just copy with anything. So I'll pick this position as base point. Then I can come to a new drawing. So I've actually named that to be Civil Soft. So you go to clipboard and then you can paste. So one more thing I'll be doing is um just as I've told you, the um the circle represents the column, while this um rectangle or polyline you represents the panel, all right? So if I export this to um civil soft. I might be lucky to have my column, my panel, and even my beam to be imported, okay? But to be on the safer side, you have to place your beams because what I have here is just my column and my panel, okay? So I do not really um, expect the software to bring in the beams. So it's only bringing in the panel and the column. So I have to bring in the beams, okay? But sometimes even without a beam, it might just generate it yourself. So um, to do that, you can just... um select all of this and try to copy to the right something like this so um escape i think you still understand what i'm saying so if i click on this you see it is a rectangle so you can see the rectangle is selected so that is a panel okay but i need a beam so um what i would do right now is first of all i have to you know select all of the columns i have here so select all of these columns you know, something like this yeah as simple as that Okay. All right, perfect. All of the column, all of the columns have been selected. So the next thing to do right now is, you know, select this and then explode so that it can all become a line. You know, so right now they are not rectangles anymore; they are line. And I told you, line represents beams. So all of these are my beams. Okay, so I can just, um, you know, select this and then, uh, let me copy all. Let me just move it directly. So I'll pick this as the base point and then I can you know, place it here, okay? 
so right now i have my column i have my panel and i have my beam okay i have my beam so um let me save this this should be saved as dxf so click on this and then save this as dxf know the location it is placed and then give it a name the name is to save soft so i'll just click on save click on yes and one more thing you need to close this in autocad because if it is not closed in autocad you'll not be able to import it from civil soft so i'll close this and then just click on no then i'll just go to um civil soft then i can come to file here yeah? so you click on import autocad dxf floor layout floor layout all right so you click on this and then just click on this um browse for the file this is a file to so civil soft click on open and then click on yes so i've told you how you can you know, check all of this so make sure you do everything that needs to be done then i click on apply changes all right so from here you can see everything we have you can see um our beams our columns sorry there's no column yet but the column point is appearing um, let me go to view and then change the scale. I'll change the scale to 150. 150 should be enough. Okay, so I'll just take this down a little bit. Okay, so um, just as we have it, I will, you know, I'll have another, I'll have two more floors, okay? So um, come back to modeling and then you can go to copy floors. So you click on um, create multiples. And then here, let this be two and then the last story let's make it a, a roof level so you click on this and then click on yes once click on yes two okay so everything has dropped and then i'll just have to click on no then the moment i you know drop that you see my columns will come in place so um there are some things i will have to do here i'll come to view and then i'll reduce the scale let me take it to 100 and then you know um this position is supposed to be a cantilever so i will not need a column so i'll click on this column i'm on ground floor when you are in ground floor which is the same thing as the foundation you will not be able to select your column so i have to go to the upper floor okay you know the, the column is from first floor to ground floor so right now i can select the column you understand then i can delete this okay so better still you can select more columns so i'll select this column hold control just click control don't hold control click and drop okay so you can see it has been selected it's different from other softwares where you have to hold the control here you just need to click the control before you select okay so i've clicked the control then i select that way i'm going to select multiple click control again then i will select this okay so um i think i have to click control again i will select this click control one more time i will select this and then i think that should be all because all those places are cantilever so i'm deleting the columns because i don't need columns over there so you just need to you know decide where columns should be and then you know you can even place column come to um modeling so let's assume you want to have a column over here so all you just need to do is in click on insert column and then just place it at the position you need it so let's see here okay so um sorry insert column okay it has been placed so um that way this is how you are going to place your column i don't need a column there so i will just um delete that so it's as simple as that okay so this is exactly how you are going to you know create your columns so let's see it in 3d view you can go to view and then you can check the 3d okay so um let's zoom this downward let me try to increase reduce the scale one more time so i'll go to 175 okay all right so this is how it looks like okay so this is how exactly it looks like um let's go back to the um floor view so assuming you want to change this column to um let me go to the um first floor so assuming you want to change you want to change a particular column to a circular column so all you just need to do is click on the column for example so let's say for example you want to um select this column you can see the column has been selected so um i'll click on this and then um just look for the then you see it here um geometry the column shape you see you have rectangle and then you can change that to um circle okay so um that's exactly how you can change this so when you look at this now you see it is now a circular column 
okay so if there's any other color you wish to you know change to circle you can just um go ahead and do that so let's say for example this so just go through the same process okay column shape rectangle change it to um circle so so you have this all right all right so this will be all for this episode in the next episode we will be moving to um changing the slab type and the slab edge condition so that is what i'll be showing you in the next episode so watch out for the next episode thank you for watching